Hello, I'm Alicia, aka Rhapsody, and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a first impressions video of another indie makeup brand. Um, if you just got here, I'm a fan of indie makeup, and I'm excited to tell you today about Hello Waffle Cosmetic. Um, Hello Waffle is uh, a brand that is, I believe, named after the owner's cat. Uh, that was named Waffle, and many of the collections at Hello Waffle are cat themed, which is awesome. And I have actually placed uh, two small orders with Hello Waffle at this point. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got and tell you um, my impressions of the products as we go through it. And, and this is a brand that is uh, well loved in the indie makeup community and uh, I think you'll see why as we go. Now Hello Waffle is is a Canadian brand so it does take a little longer if you live in the States for um, you to receive it. I'd say once they ship it generally takes uh, about a week to receive the product. Um, I said that I placed two orders and I did but when I say that um, these aren't expensive orders I probably spent about I probably spent roughly $12 or so each order. I did have a discount code that I found on the web because, you know, if you Google the name of a brand and coupon code, you can find a coupon code for about 50% of the um, the brands out there. So I do that. Um, so I did get, I don't know, maybe 30% off? Maybe not that much. I don't know. Um, but it was helpful. But Hello Waffle is not an expensive brand, and I do have a lot to show you for the insignificant amount of money that I spent. And shipping is not prohibitively expensive. It's it's probably slightly more than you would pay um, for a company that's located within the United States, but not much more. Well, how frustrating. I only seem to be able to find one of my two invoices. But at any rate, ships with their card, which is simple enough. So my first order um, that I placed, I ordered all samples um, in baggies. And my first order that I placed, I ordered all samples in baggies. And that's one of the great things about ordering from indie makeup companies is that uh, the great majority of them do offer the option of purchasing of purchasing sample sizes so that you can try out a variety of products very inexpensively. And um, the website is in uh, Canadian dollars, so uh, the conversion rate was $1.46 for each um, sample bag. And they came in baggies, but I transferred them to my own little cosmetic jars. So um, I'm going to show you each of the samples that I got. And when I received it, I was really surprised because three of the sample baggies that I had ordered, Hello Waffle had upgraded to full sizes just as a bonus, which was amazingly cool. Um, so, wow. Uh, so I'm going to show you everything I got in the first order, and then we'll go on to the second order. So, because obviously I like the first order enough to place the second order. All right. Um, in the first order, um, I ordered one blush sample. This is Royale with Cheese. It is a very purple blush. And it does have a bit of a sheen. Fine micro glitter. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And that is obviously a heavy swatch. I have worn this blended out. I like it. And kind of blending it out. And if you hadn't guessed, I am into unconventional blushes. I will probably be doing a strange blush collection uh, video at some point in the fairly near future. And the rest of this order is eyeshadows. I ordered. Um, Edgar Allan Purr. Uh, look how cute that is. It's a cat with a raven on its head. 
and this is one of the ones this is one of the ones that they bumped up to full size for me. And you can see the full size does come with a sifter. And this is a black base with maybe blue and purple glitter. And whatever the description is on their website, I will include that because my own descriptions will undoubtedly be flawed at times because human perception is faulty. So moving on, next we have a thousand likes. This is another one that they bumped up to full size and this one is gorgeous. is obviously you know a metallic kind of uh, bronzy gold really stunning next we have heavy breathing cat looks like that this is another lovely metallic shade um, kind of neutral they do have a lot of very pr pretty neutrals on their site as you know if you've watched me at all. I am not big on neutrals, but um, I can appreciate their beauty when they're done well. This is Azure Dragon, which is a deep green with a lot of sparkle. This glides on really nice. And as a freebie, they sent me Black Tortoise. I believe this is from the same collection as Azure Dragon. And this is a purple with a lot of um, like magenta sparkle. Which is also quite pretty. This is Imam or I-M-A-M, -M, which I'm am, um, is the abbreviation for Indie Makeup and More, which is a very popular uh, subreddit uh, that uh, Hello Waffle is very popular on. And this is a blackened base with like gold sparkle and I'm spilling it on myself. Maybe charcoal gray. And finally we have Debussy. This is part of their composers line. And they also bumped this one up to full size for me because they are awesome. And this is a metallic uh, light green. And I have worn this one. This one is gorgeous. And one other uh, purchase in my first order that I forgot to mention is Wisp, which is a highlighter. I got a little sample of this. It looks like that. And it's quite pretty. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. So I received that order, which um, I think the total was maybe $14 after shipping for all of that. Um, and I was quite impressed, and so I turned around and placed another order because that's the kind of person I am. And for my second order, um, I hadn't tried any of their highlighters and I was deep into my highlighter kick um, because I have been really obsessed with highlighters lately. So I picked up a couple of their highlighters to try out as well as two more eyeshadows. So I picked up a sample of 
Pocket Bell, again from that com same composer's line. And this is really out of my comfort zone, but I figured I don't have a lot of um, eyeshadow highlight shades, and I was so impressed with Debussy as um, a soft metallic uh, color that I thought this would be really nice for the brow bone. And I don't think I went wrong. And you can see that's a, a decent sized sample. I don't think I'll run out anytime soon. Now this time they did not bump any of my uh, sample purchases up to full size, but um, what they did in addition to sending me um, a free sample baggie, which this was in a baggie, um, they sent me also a free lip product, which I've never received a, a bonus lip product before. Um, I'll go ahead and show you this before I get on to the other stuff. This is Orchid. It's a pretty um, kind of purpley pink. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. I am, of course, not the best lip model for anything. I have virtually no lips, but um, how awesome is that? So moving on, the other uh, sample that I received, they sent me a sample of Earth. Now, I believe this is an eyeshadow, but I am not 100% positive because of the shade. I will check the website and um, confirm. I'll put it in text if it's something different. But I have swatched this already, and it is like the exact same color as my skin, which is, I would, I would never pick this out as a shade for myself, but that is useful. As a blending shade, this will work quite well, so it is useful for me. And the last eyeshadow that I picked up from Hello Waffle is Jessica and I picked this up in full size and I picked this up in full size because um, it was being discontinued and that was my only option and um, I couldn't resist it. This is Jessica and for some reason this one does not have a sifter which is really fine by me and this is a very soft shade but I just adore it. It's um, it's got a lot of shift to it. It's like a a soft soft lilac with a maybe a blue shift. I hope that's coming out on the camera. I'm just gonna sit here waving my wrist at you and for hoping. So I'm very happy with this one. Again, out of my comfort zone, but um, I think that'll be really nice in the inner corners. And then I picked up three highlighters, um, two sample sizes, and one full size. I picked up this one in full size because, again, it was being discontinued. This is Jelly Bean, um, and I couldn't let it go. I am really running out of room here, aren't I? This is a very pretty highlight. Very shimmery. I also picked up a sample of Moon Man. Which looks like that.
that's silvery. And finally, everyone on uh, Indie Makeup and More raves about Lavender Cream as the go-to highlight. So I had to give it a shot. And here's what it looks like in the jar. As you might guess from the name, it's going to have a lavender shift. And it does. And it's really gorgeous. I might have to get a full size of it at some point. Although, dare I say it, I think I might have enough highlighters now. And this order after shipping, I think I paid about $16 after shipping everything together. Um, so, I, um, my grand total for both orders combined was $30. Really not bad for all of this stuff that I got. Um, I, it's quite a little haul. I am quite impressed with Hello Waffle. Um, as you may know, I am a huge fan of bright colors. It is not the go-to indie makeup brand for bright colors. Um, they have, it is probably one of the go-to brands for um, neutrals, really. They do beautiful neutrals. Uh, their bright colors are, are nice, but they're just not as many of them. Um, but still, the formula is beautiful. Um, their highlighters are gorgeous. And uh, the quality is just there. And um, talk about, you know, really going the extra mile. I, you know, it says that there's a long wait time in terms of TAT turnaround time. But the, the last time I made a purchase, they shipped it out like in a couple of hours after I, I made, I placed the order. So uh, my experiences have just been um, a stellar with the company. So I am extremely impressed with Hello Waffle and I need to stay away th from them for a while until I earn some money but um, definitely would recommend them and I thank you for watching. Until next time, uh, if you have not already hit that subscribe button, please do because uh, I have a burning desire to try everything and um, I do, so you don't have to. So uh, please hit that subscribe button and go along on these makeup journeys with me. Until next time, thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.